I've been in racing nine years. You're cooking for 16 teams, you're shipping out all over the place. It ranges from 100 people to 400 people in a day. And there's a true passion for food in me, and I've been a cook since high school. I love to cook for other people and watch them eat, and it's, it's, it's been inside me since at least a, a sophomore in high school. We're uh, creating a little marinade for a boneless pork spare rib. It's a Korean barbecue sauce. I just gotta make sure I get enough to cover all the ribs out there. It's like uh, 90 pounds of uh, ribs. Just go right in there and go for it. Yeah. A little red chili flake, don't wanna make it too spicy. I'm gonna probably have to thin it out with some water is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna get a little green onion. What I'm realizing here is I don't have any sesame oil, so we're just going to kind of wing it. I do have a little bit of mirin, which is good. I know as a chef that you can only gain through experience what corners to cut and what corners I can't cut. It is at a track, you know. I'm trying to bulk it up is really what I'm trying to do now. I know I'm probably going to need at least four gallons to cover. Brown sugar. It's totally different cooking than like a restaurant, you know. You cut corners when you can, it's like you're buying stuff from the store, you can't, you don't have the storage space to carry stuff from event to event, so you gotta buy smaller quantities, you gotta pick and choose your, your item. It's manager special, got the $1.79. We're almost home, I'm just gonna add, thin it out just a touch more. It feels good, you can feel the viscosity of it. I'm gonna marinate it all day and cook it all night. and It'll cook and hold. When I come in, they'll be perfect. I'll roast them in the oven until they're crispy, glaze them back up, gone. I usually need at least three hours to get it done. Uh, sometimes I give myself four if it's a complicated menu. And I know right away. So for so many years of doing this, I know exactly where I stand. If it's noon and my dinner's at seven, I'll tell you if we're behind. I mean, I already know. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. Come on, come on. Ah. Ah. And that look good? You go, well, how much spaghetti will 30 guys eat? Well, we don't know. We just try to guess. Italian spaghetti seasoning. It's gonna give it a little love. A little parsley. A little chives. Parsley. Yeah. We're just getting it. Trying to make it so you can eat it on its own and taste good, or you can have it with the sauce. I have the capabilities to do practically anything. I mean, I've, you know, I've cooked the, the squab and the pheasant and, and the rabbit. I've done those things. It's really tough a lot of times. Just imagine yourself camping and, you know, but having to cook for lots and lots of people. Uh, and you have lots of issues. You have propane issues, you have electrical issues. The generator shuts down and gets too hot, boom, you have nothing. You know, there's no electrical. You have the whole weather element to deal with. Oh, if it rains, I mean, this, you gotta protect this right here. Yeah, everything comes in wet, you know, it's just always a challenge.
the biggest project left is the meatballs. But the, it's made, it's seasoned, it's tasted. As a matter of fact, that's what I had for lunch. This is a pretty aggressive menu today because I'm making meatballs, I'm breading the chicken. I could have bought the chicken, could have bought the meatballs. Yep, this is the fun work of cooking right here, you know. It's fun making them and tasting them and delivering them, but this part, it was cool for about the first four or five, right? <laughs> I'm almost 100% on time every time. If it says noon, I'm at noon, it's all down there. Uh, chicken's ready, meatballs are ready. Everything else is probably just coming out. Split Kalamata olives. And it's a big juggling event in there. As it gets closer, it's very stressful. Do we have enough? Are you gonna run out? Do people like it? It's gonna be cooked. It's stressful. I mean, it, it really is. That's it. First round's out. When they get here, they really get a wow factor. You know, they walk in there, it's like, wow, this is like not what I expected coming to a racetrack. The people come, it's free, and you know, they eat. You just never know, all of a sudden like eight people or 20 people just walk in and start eating. You're like, whoa, whoa, where are they? You know, it's like, what? I thought it was over, you know? So I'm still just a little bit nervous. Otherwise, everything else is good. I still got another pan of meatballs. Pretty good day, yeah. People were pretty happy and I had enough food, so it's all good.